Hello and welcome, or welcome back if you've seen my first video. If you haven't, please go check it out. It's the first one on this channel and the first thing I've done, and any of your support will be appreciated. But here we are, we're back. We're carrying on with the theme of Space Marine Heroes. Uh, last time I built and painted uh, Brother Vanille. Again, butchered the pronunciation. But here he is, here's a standard, and this is what we're going to be going to. I think pretty good, tabletop standard. Very good. We're going on to Pony Box, brand new, all sealed up, all nice and tight, no idea what he's got. Probably going to be Brother Vanille again, but oh well, let's break into it and see what we've got. Now, these series of videos are going to be fairly straightforward. They're going to be the box, the build, and then the paint. So we'll go through step by step and see what we've got. So, where's the little card? Who do we have? Who do we have? Is Brother Remus, an awesome it's the one with the rocket launcher. That's really cool. Nice little diamond pose there. Him kneeling down, find the rocket launcher. That's cool. Really fun to paint. Let's have a look at this broom. Brilliant. Look at that. Nice little fun little little pack to paint up. Awesome. Gonna look forward to build this. So that's what we're going to move on to next. I'm going to do hopefully a little time lapse of me building it together. Not too interesting. It's going to be all push fit. See you in a bit. Right, we're back. And I had them all built. And as you can see, there are a few bits missing. Well, that's because when it was all put together, I noticed, actually, when I come to painting, I'm not gonna get in those little areas. The areas on the pack, underneath all the gun, and I want them to look really good. I don't want them to look a sloppy job, so I'm gonna do some sub-assemblies. And they are just the arms and the pack. So what I've done here is I've cut off bits of the sprue, glued them onto a very inconspicuous areas, just to give me a bit of a hold, I can paint it all up, I can do all the highlighting, really do a really good job for the model, and then glue them all together at the end. So that's what I've done. Now we're going to move on to painting, and unlike my last video, I'm going to actually give it a base coat first. So that is going to be of Mechanicus Standard Grey. Um, <clears throat> I've actually got the other model here. Um, I think the blue is a little bit too dark, and that's because I went straight over the plastic. I'm going to give them a lighter base coat, just to try and brighten all the blues up, and yeah, I think that will look rather good. Once we've done Mechanica Standard Grey, we'll do the main base coat of Macaulay Blue. Then out in front of me, I've laid out all the other colours I'm going to use. I'll do all the trim bits in a bad and black, including the gun, all the metals in lead belcher, we'll get a good wash of known oil, and then we'll go back over and do all the detail bits such as the edge highlighting, all the gold trim, and all the other peripheral little bits in Butch Butyl Armour, Rhinox Hide, and Memphis Red. So without further ado, I'll get this base coated up and be back with you in a bit. So we're just going to take a look at the gun here, um, I'm going to do a base coat in a bad and black, it's just going to be a very liberal coat all over, not worrying about any of the details, just making sure we get a nice even covering, um, not really watered the paint down too much here, not straight from the pot either, just kind of on the palette with a little bit of water, just so it flows a tiny bit, just being very careful not to get it on the blue that we've already painted but yeah just so it covers the model we're going to give it a whole two coats and go over all the cables that are coming off as well and then we'll be back in a bit so the next layer we're going to choose is lead belcher we're going to use this to go over all the metallic bits such as the arm on the backpack and all the shell casings 
I'm just gonna go in very lightly and give it a nice liberal base coat, just making sure we get all the pieces and everything all nice and covered in uh, two even layers. So I'll go around all the model like this, front and back, even the bits on the main body, such as the straps going across the front and extra little bits on the gun. And uh, we'll be back in a bit. With the lead belcher done, that should now be all the base colours for the main model. As you can see going around here, I've gone and put all the blacks in, put all the browns in for the satchels and all the lead belcher for all the straps. I've even gone and put a little bit of uh, corn red on the top there for the eye. I've also gone and uh, pieced in all the bits on the gun, so that's looking all pretty good now. And even on the backpack, we've just gone around neatened everything up, gone over, over with a bit more blue just to cover up any mistakes we've done with the silver. I've done all the little trim bits on the exhausts and all the little plates on the back of the backpack. Gone on to the other arm as well, if it will focus. I've done all the blacks on the little bit of the gun, all the silver trim bits. And even on the uh, plates that join all the wrist and the glove together, Next, we'll be going on to known oil and we'll give the whole model in a liberal wash. Once known oil is dried, he's looking something like this. I'm um, changing up my video style a little bit for this one. I felt my first video was a bit too much talkative, so I'm just going ahead and throwing a few pictures in there, trying to reduce the video length and just make sure I can paint faster as doing a lot of editing is taking a lot of time and I want to get some more content up for you guys. So we're going to go ahead after this and tidy up all the little panels. I've been a bit heavy with the known oil in places and we're going to go ahead and do the gold trim with some Retributor armour. So I'm going to get that set up and be back in a bit. So just like before, we're going to go ahead and just paint on the Retributor armour on the gold trim. You probably get the gist of where this is going, guys. I'm going to go all the way around here. The shoulder pad sculpt a little different, which I quite like. Brings a lot of variety into these heroes. Beforehand, it was just a solid band all the way around, but this one's got some uh, extra bits on. I think that's going to make it look a little bit interesting, bring some character to each model. So we're going to go and do that. This will be on this arm and on the other pad. Looking back on the actual main body, he hasn't got a crest on this one and there's no other little embellishments, so it's going to be a quite quick step. I would do it on camera, but I think it's just easier for me to do it off camera. If you Actually, if you do want to see me do a lot of painting on camera, just leave a comment below and I'll consider that for some uh, future videos. I've got a lot of other content planned, so I'm sure I can change my style to suit what you want to see. Like I said, I'm starting to watch Beauty Armour and be back in a sec. Right, yeah, so we've finished the gold trim and that is it for the base colours. Essentially, the model is complete and can be assembled and put on the table, but I'm going to take it that one step further and do some highlighting. We're going to do that with some Calgar Blue and what's involved with this is just going around the model and picking up all the highlights. So with the known oil wash, we've put in all the shadows, in all the creases. This is just going to be picking up all the high points with all the highlights. So where the light will hit it. So Cargar Blue is a very light colour. Works well with the um, with the Ultramarines. So I'm just going to use the edge of my brush and very lightly pick up all these raised little edges. Now. This is very tedious and very time consuming, but it is very worthwhile. I would recommend this for anybody who doesn't do it, just to give it a go, because it really makes the model stand out. And as these are the heroes, I want these to look really good on the tabletop. Now, I'm not saying that my finished product is always looking really good, but the whole point of these videos is just to encourage me to paint a little bit more and hopefully get better as you go along and if you've got any suggestions for me you can say hey why not do this or why aren't you doing this or try and give us a go leave me a comment like i say i'd really like to hear from you guys just to sort of help me improve because that's the one thing i would love to do 
to improve my painting. So to spare you the trouble of watching me for the next half an hour go around this model, I'm just going to carry on here and cut back to when he's all done. So guys, I'll see you in a bit. Right, so it's been a little while now. I've gone round and done all the final bits and pieces, all the final layering, and more notably, I've put the model together. It was just quite simply snapping it off these tiny little spool bits that I used for support and push fitting it all together. And I've still got to glue a little bit of it together, but for the purpose of this, we're pretty much done. It's looking pretty good, I'm happy with it. Not much more that I'm really gonna do to the model at all. I do have to base it, but if you look back at my first video, I'm gonna do pretty much the same as what I've done there, which was just a wash, a little bit of a highlight, and maybe do a little bit of the skull. But for the purposes of this video, we're, we're done. So thanks for joining me guys, if you made it this far. I hope you've enjoyed the new format of the video. I'm trying to keep it very short and snappy, not too long. Nobody wants to watch a half an hour video of me painting the model. Um, if you liked it, please hit like below and also subscribe to the channel to see some upcoming videos. I've got a really good project coming up soon, so stay tuned for that. And yeah, see you in a bit.